What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome to another guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to farm juice bar stats. Now, you are going to need these in huge, huge quantities. Firstly, when it comes to attack to speed, so attack, defense, int, resistance, hit, and speed, each character you create and unique characters can obtain 10 million stats from each of these. Likewise, when it comes to HP and SP, every character can obtain 1 billion from these as well. Now, how are we going to earn these in such high, high quantities? Well, there's actually only two ways you can earn juice bar stats in Disgaea 7. The first one is going to be using an evil tea. Now, depending on when you are playing, there are two evil teas available. One of them is from a DLC character called Plenia, and the other is from completing uh, the evil tea squad. So if we just bring up the squad really quick, uh, where are you? The evil tea scholars, even though it does not say about unlocking evil teas there, okay, Remember, this is another goddamn translation issue. Once you unlock the squad and get up to level 9, you can then complete 300 fights with a character. Once that character has completed 300 fights, you will then unlock the Infernal Corrosion Evil T. Now, this Evil T cannot be spread around via Create Scroll. If you want a character to have this, they must be in that squad and they must do 300 fights there is no way around that but what this does is when attacking an enemy obtain extract equal to its stats that is a lie you are not going to get an extract equal to its stats at all instead it will give you an extract which is of the value of one one hundred thousand so what that means is if an enemy has one hundred thousand in stats across the board you will gain one stat for the juice bar which means even if you kill something that is completely stat maxed you will only gain a thousand juice bar stats and that is the exact same for plenty as evil tea as well however obviously at the time of making this video the dlc is not released in the uk yet so i can't show that one off now with that said we are obviously not going to use that method or it would take us forever to stat max a character that is however until until you can form 20 star carnage ball okay when you are strong enough to farm carnage ball at 20 star difficulty then it is worth using but only then simply due to the fact each time you kill ball you will get around half a million hp and sp added to the juice bar each time okay next up let's talk about the actual fast way and the way that i suggest everybody does and that even includes more so than ball as well and that does of course involve the hospital gotcha and the reason we're going to do the hospital gotcha is once you actually get over to the ultimate overlord one this is the one that you can unlock via carnage mode and of course it is the highest tier the reason we want to use this is not only can you gain a million hp and a million sp but you can also gain a hundred thousand in each stat from it as well so what you want to do is you just want to quite literally just spam the gotcha system and as you can see we just got like 400,000 in stats right there so you know imagine if this was 400,000 every single time that's going to be a huge huge amount now maxing out attack defense speed and so on and so forth to the 10 million is actually very very quick and easy that one is not going to take very long at all however if you want to cap out HP and SP to 1 billion, then it is going to cost you round about, depending on RNG, 70 billion RP. Okay, around 70 billion RP per character that you want to max. Or, easier to say, it's going to be about two hours of this literally just doing this for about two hours to cap out on hp is it boring yes will it break your thumb yes but it's the quickest way so 
have fun with that. Now, I know I mentioned Carnage Ball. That way is a little less tedious, I suppose, in a sense. But in terms of actual efficiency, realistically speaking, there is very, very little difference between the two methods. So I would strongly suggest just sticking to the hospital. Now, how do you farm so much RP to actually do that? Well, that is involved with using your characters. Now, first of all, make sure you have your class proficiency mastered on every character that you do this with. The more characters, the more RP. Secondly, you want to level all those characters up after mastering all of the classes in the Overlord's Guard Squad for extra growth. Likewise, use all the HP and SP evil tees on leveling, and of course, any HP and SP boosting properties on equipment while leveling as well. Then you want to change all of their evil tees over to these, which is Image Change, Secret Recon, Powerful Souls, Magic Bice, and Vanguard. Now, the reason we want these is, first of all, these three right here just boost your HP and your SP. Also, these need to be in the exact order you are seeing. So first of all, image change needs to be number one. This swaps your HP and your SP around. Secondly, you need secret recon in slot number two. This is going to reduce our HP and our SP down to one, allowing us to heal. And then we're just going to do the exact same on all five characters. Now, what I suggest doing for this method is firstly, have all your unique characters together and also have all of your generic characters together as well, just to make it a little bit easier as uniques will have one more unique evil tea slot. So once you've equipped all the evil teas, we're first going to to remove image change which lowers our sp down to one then likewise we are going to remove secret recon to do the same for hp one thing i will say though is make sure you also do this with pirelika okay the reason we want to do this with pirelika is because of her main evil to increase max hp and sp by 10 cents for number of digits held from your hl i've got 12 digits so that's literally 120 percent extra hp and sp basically it's doubled my hp and sp there will also be a new evil tea from seraphina from the dlc which will also give you an extra 30 percent hp as well so feel free to throw that in once the dlc releases when you do throw it in though keep the same list just throw it below vanguard that will make this a little bit faster so we've just lowered all our hp and sp down to one so right now we have 179.8 billion rp so we're now going to heal ourselves, and now we have 210 billion we just gained 30 billion rp right there which all we have to do is basically do that two or three times and each time we do it we'll essentially be capping out multiple characters on the normal stats and you know, every two or three times, we'll be capping out a character for HP and SP as well. And there we go, guys. That is how you completely cap out on Juice Bar stats. Still, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope it has helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button, and of course, drop a comment down below as it greatly helps the channel out. And subscribe so you don't miss any more content. And of course, if you want even more Disguise 7, guys, down below in the description is my Disguise 7 playlist. Feel free to check that out. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of guides in there for everything and of course if some of my videos do not answer any questions you might have down below in the description as well is a link to my discord server and my link tree which also has my discord server on feel free to join and you can reach out to me on there we have an awesome awesome disguise community so come and join the fun with all that said though everybody thank you for watching and i'll see you soon